Welcome back to another Starmie tutorial. My name is Bench and today we're doing logic circuits again. In this tutorial we're going to be building ourselves a, a nice big display uh, that we can put in a command center in our ship and actually have damage indicators showing where damaged parts of the ships are. Um, so you'll see here I've got a basic basic ship layout here on the ground with all these lights indicating the different points and these will be the different points that we can get indications from and then we have a little staircase up so we can see a bit more of a view from the top now um, it, this ship is pretty small it's basically just that room and some laid out stuff but it gives us a general idea and we'll be able to show how this all works so for starters we're going to have to build ourselves a clock so we're going to do that underneath we'll just drop a delay and a knot. We'll feed one into the other, the other into the other, and we'll start that going. And sweet. So we've got our clock set. The next thing we need to do is on each of these, we need to actually knock out the block and add a OR gate underneath them. And then we'll hit C on that and grab our light again. And these OR gates are going to feed into each of our lights. So we'll do that for each, like so. And so what we're going to end up with is, uh, if everything's fine with wherever that block is, um, then it will be a normal static light. It won't blink, and then once there's an issue with it, or if that area's been damaged, then we'll get a flashing light. So we get the alert saying this is this area that's actually needing your attention. There we go, and we'll just fix up that section on the side there, and the last one, like so. Sweet. So now we've got all our sections set up, and then what we can do is we can feed our delay into each of these. You'll see they're all flashing now. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to set up our actual blocks that will indicate that. Um, so we'll go here into the front of the, the hull. Um, usually it's good to kind of have these blocks for this particular circuit on, their, on the same level as everything else. Otherwise you start getting pipes going through. But for this demonstration, we won't worry about that. Um, and it can be a little finicky when you start doing sections like out here. Um, you might need your uh, additional clocks to help with that because the activation modules being destroyed won't actually indicate for us properly. So what we need to do is update or force an update for those blocks so that's why we have a clock as well. We'll put some here in the back. Um, hopefully there's a, a simpler way to force those updates for it but at the meantime this is a pretty easy way to get some indications on the status of different parts of your ship. Link that one up. Have we done the end wings? No, I don't think we have here. Wing there. To the side. And we haven't done the core bit, which is this bit in here. So we can just drop one down there. Or, no, sorry, that's the back here which I do have one. I'll grab that and hook it up to there. There we go. So we got our clock going. If we turn to that, we can see everything's all good. And now what we can do is jump out and we'll test what happens when those get destroyed. Okay, so we're here in a different sector so we can actually do some damage to these things. Uh, if I fly forward, you should I'll turn these mirroring off. You'll see that everything is still on. 
and uh, we'll see what happens if we shoot where some of her pieces are. So I think one of her sections is here at the back, so let's shoot there. Bang. Oh, we knocked out some lights and stuff. Alright, now let's zoom. Whoa. Let's zoom in and see if it's indicating. Yeah, it's indicating that that section was hit. I think we also hit this other section as well. So we must have done uh, a decent amount of damage there. Um, let's try again. We'll shoot at this side of a wing. We knocked out the activation modules there. Fly forward again. You can see, there we go. We're getting an indica indication of uh, areas that are being attacked. And uh, if we aim for this engine at the back, we should get the same deal. And, yeah, we're getting the indication there. Which is good, because then we're being alerted as to which areas we're getting damage. Um, and they take a lot of damage. Um, or they'll get damaged, and you can see there's the one on the side that hasn't quite been destroyed. But it doesn't take too much to take them out. It takes a lot more to take out the hardened hull than just that. And you can see, there we go, we've got both lights flashing regarding all of that. I mean, alright, we'll just get the final one, which is here in the cockpit. Load up, fire, bang. And you'll see that as we fly in. Now, the whole thing's under attack. In fact, we're missing our whole front section. Um, so there we go. That's the uh, indication system for everything. It's fairly easy to build. You just use the loop and all the different things. You can do the shapes as how you want. Um, but until next time, my name is Bench, and thanks for watching.